was having a little technical difficulties earlier, but uh, looks like it's working now. Let's see, my streaming, live, record. Yep, there, there it is. Okay, cool. Looks like we are fully functional. <clears throat> anyway, uh, hello everyone. This is MZ4250. Uh, I also known as Miguel Zavala. I go by MZ4050 on Reddit, on Twitter, on Instagram, Patreon, Twitch, etc., etc. And uh, yeah. So my situation is currently I am a government employee, but I've been furloughed because of the shutdown. So during this time, I'm going to make the best of it by uh, pretty much doing my 3D modeling uh, and 3D printing uh, hobby or passion, I guess you could call it. And, uh, you know, just going from there. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just gonna treat it like a full-time job until I can get back to work, and uh, we'll go from there. <clears throat> anyway, so today's uh, model that I'm gonna be creating is gonna be the White Abashi from Mordenkainer's Tomb of Foes. This is the next request on my big list of requests. <laughs> works. So let me go ahead and get this book open, and let's uh, go ahead and look through it. Let's see here. One second. One second. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I'm just looking all over the place, like, where is that book? But it's right here. Anyway, <clears throat> so White Abashi. I'm guessing starting at letter A. Let's see. It's a really nice book, by the way. Highly recommend it. Uh, also, um, the Abashi are obviously. intellectual property of Wizards of the Coast, so this model will only be posted online for fan purposes, fan art purposes, and and that is that. This will not be sold, and it cannot be used for commercial purposes, so please keep that in mind. <clears throat> okay, here it is. Uh, Devils. Abashi. Black, blue. Ah, so they're basically like devil demons, huh? That's kind of interesting. They have uh, the various features of. Not devils, I'm sorry. Devil dragons, basically. So draconic deep devils. And they have the looks that uh, pretty much are like draconic beings and are also devils. So that's kind of interesting. Okay, so I did Google it last night. I guess it was accurate. So at least there's that. So what I'm gonna be creating is this fella. Let's see, here it is. Okay, so yeah. So I was correct when I called this last night. Interesting. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on making this bad boy. This is definitely gonna be a from scratch model. And oh, hold on a second, I got some message. Hello, everyone remember. Uh, Painting minis, be sure to use titanium white and beat the devil out of your brushes. <laughs> yes, this is definitely going to be a continuation of my, uh, um, how do you call it? My Bob Ross of 3D modeling situation. So, thanks for sharing. Um, actually, before I continue any further, how's the volume? Am I. Is it too loud? Is the music okay? I just, I don't want to sound like I'm too loud, you know? So let me know if I need to adjust any 
volume situations here. <clears throat> ah, delicious, boozy coffee. Anyway, ah, okay, so I'm setting up this book next to my laptop. And, okay. And I got it all nice and set up, so I should be good to go. Let's see here. Music might be a pinch overpowering uh, to your voice. Music is a hair loud, but not bad. Okay, I'll lower it right now. There. Um, is that is that better? Great. Thank you for letting me know if it was too loud or not. <clears throat> uh, okie dokie. So, let's get back to it. Um, so, uh, so, the white Abashi, so you got basically a humanoid. Um, he's got reptilian legs, so he has that extra long uh, uh, calf line. And let's see what else we got here. So we got long calves, reptilian calves, tail, wings. Okay. I think um, I might rip off some wings from like my succubus model, but we'll see. And obviously, it's got a big sword. Um, tentacles. <laughs> Tentacle air, that's going to be fun. Alright. <clears throat> well, whatever. We'll make do with what we got. So if there were any uh, Abishai watching this, I apologize for um, mispronouncing your name. So sorry about that. I am not racist, or in this case, um, uh, fiendish, I guess. Anyway, uh, so let's go ahead and model this bad boy. So I got the book open, but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and position the body, and then after I position the body properly, I'm going to work on the proportions, and then go from there. So, big stuff first, obviously. Anyway, alright, so let's begin. Okay, so first he's bent over, guy's hunched over, very sinister looking. Okay. And then he's got his legs, that are up. So, after I finish this model, my next model is going to be uh, a personal project. Um, not so much a model. The next task that I'm going to do is a personal project of mine. I am going to uh, paint a rules gnome uh, per the request of Mr. Jeremy Crawford himself. For it, Wizards of the Coast. And, uh, yeah. I hope he uh, likes what I created for him. He's a really nice guy. Just literally one of the nicest pe person people I've ever met in my life. Anyway. <clears throat> so, yeah, so I'm going to be painting that. Hours after I finish this guy. <sighs> so yeah, my uh, work plan. 
plan, I guess you could say, while I'm doing this 3D modeling stuff for a full-time basis is, um, basically, I model something, and then I pull away to either take a break or to work on something personally, and then I just, uh, get back to it, I just, uh, make another thing, and then take a break, make another thing, take a break, so, there you go. goal is to have completed at least at least two new 3D models in a day. At least two. If I can do three, I would consider that a great day. If I can do more than three, then I would be considering that to be very successful. But we'll see. Like I said, there's a lot of personal projects I need to take care of too, so I want to Make sure I paint the things that I want to paint, and, uh, you know, we'll just go ahead and, uh, do the best that I can with the time that I have, and see what happens. So, <clears throat> the arms of the Abashi are very long, very long arms, so I'm going to increase the size of his, uh, bicep bearing really increase the size of his uh, forearms, like a lot. Even then, this is probably still not enough. His hands are also very large, so I'm gonna leave those as is. And that looks like that should be good proportion-wise. Yeah, really ridiculously large arms. It's, actually, that might have been too big. Just a little bit more. Okay, there. <laughs> Very long arms, like stupid long arms. Not even sure proportionally how feasible having such long arms is, but eh, whatever. It's a style. Okay, so that's a pretty good base pose, and then the tail's gonna go there, legs, yada yada yada. And then I gotta do the head. Probably do the head last, um, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> oh, I see I got some more viewers. Um, hello, everybody. Um, 3D modeling. The white Abishai from uh, Mordenkainen's Tomb of Foes. Anyway, let's go ahead and... Uh, this looks pretty good, pose-wise. Um, okay, let me go ahead and... Save this bad boy. Armature. Ah, <sighs> keep transform. Let me get rid of the skeleton. This goodbye, Mr. Skeleton. Thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate your hard work. Okay. I always say thank you to things that you get rid of. Because they were nice enough to do a service for you. It's the least you could do. set up for his very, very long calves. Okay. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make one leg and then I'm going to copy it over to the other one. I'll just go from there. Obviously, this leg needs to be big enough to support a 3D model that's going to have wings on its back. So, um, these feet are going to be a little bit bigger than what I'm seeing in the artwork, but hey, that's okay. Alrighty. So, I gotta say, the uh, Bashai. Uh, Certainly did not skip leg day. These are pretty thick legs this guy has. So, good for him. 
<clears throat> so unfortunately for me and for my group, uh, D&D was cancelled tonight. Two players are sick, one of them being the DM. <laughs> So, of course, that wouldn't be fair. But I wish my friends a steady recovery. I'm sure they'll be fine by next week. Are you self-taught in Blender? I'm trying to find time to learn via YouTube videos. Um, Blender, yes. Uh, 3D modeling, no. Uh, 3D modeling I actually learned uh, in college about 10 years ago. And uh, just uh, transitioned those skills to Blender, but uh, I had to learn Blender from scratch. Yeah. So, yeah, Blender itself isn't the most impossible program to pick up. It's just, uh, you know, like any other art form, you just need to make time to practice your skills, and uh, you know, let's go from there. So to make the time just like any other art form and once you make the time then you just gotta keep at it I think it's uh, the number was you need 10,000 hours and something to master it and so yeah <laughs> and I hardly would consider myself a master like not even close when it comes to 3d modeling and using blender but you know i think i'm okay <clears throat> yeah if i were to do this professionally professionally like i would need to take some time to learn the programs that the industry uses like uh, like 3d studio packs ZBrush, those kind of things. Probably need to do that. That would take some time. Probably have to spend some money on going to classes or something too. So, yeah. It would definitely be a lot of work. <laughs> well, somebody did the math. <laughs>
So, I'm not sure how long this is going to take. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe a couple of hours. I'll make sure that I do a good job since I am going to print this model at some point. Not that I wouldn't do a good job for any other queries, but I don't want to risk the idea of somebody else printing this. So, hey, this is work. <coughs> that sucks. <laughs> Google did the math. Hey, thanks, Google. You're a good dude. Sort of. So the waist of this guy is a little long. Or not the waist, the torso. Something I was just gonna do a, a feat, but I might just copy the entire leg. Yeah, we'll see. It's probably not. Usually there's two ways of doing this, there's uh, doing it the way that I'm doing it right now, or you use a mirror uh, function, or mirror modifier. The problem is, is that when you pose a model already, uh, it's hard to do the mirror function properly. Now the other option that I could do is I could rig an entirely Entire model and just do the whole mirror thing. Problem is, is rigging is a pain in the ass, and I don't have time for that. Now, if this was a professional model for animation, I would obviously do it that way. But this is fan art <coughs> for 3D printing miniatures. And because of that, we don't need to get that crazy. So my goal is to ultimately 3D model and 3D print every 
single monster in D&D. Every single one. It would take me too long if I did it on Rados. So we'll see. Okay. So, if uh, this mod was going to be much bigger, I would probably get further into the details of, uh, you know, uh, putting more muscle on this guy and things like that, those kind of details. However, this is a medium-sized creature. Um, you will not see that level of detail when you print it, so I think I'm going to leave it at just the base shapes when it comes to some of the details. Not all of them, obviously. So. so, let's go ahead and make a tail for this guy. Tails. Yeah, that's true. With Ravinica, that Ravinica book. I'm pretty sure that uh, <clears throat> tackling that Ravinica book alone is going to take me a while. But, I guess that just means I'm, I'm going to be doing this for a little bit longer. <laughs> Poor me, right? <laughs> I accept challenge. She likes anime. And you know what his favorite anime is? Yuri on Ice. Because Yuri on Ice is awesome.
surface. And we go ahead and extrude just a little bit of muscle definition. Just a little bit, nothing too crazy. Okay, see you later, and I will definitely do my best to kick butt. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Crazy mad ski. I hope that your day is going well. <clears throat> In case you are curious, I am currently modeling a white Abishai. Tomb of Foes. Oh, this is a patron request. Um, my plan today is uh, I'm going to do a patron request, and then I'm going to stop, paint a personal project, come back, do another patron request, go back, do a patron request, and basically just do that process onward and onward until I guess until I able to get back to work. So that's my plan. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks for stopping by. Good morning. wife just woke up. She's ticking off today.
personal project today, along with uh, finishing the rules now for Mr. Jeremy Crawford, is to uh, ship out Chippy, the owlbear that I made for Gabe from Penny Arcade. When I met the Penny Arcade folks at uh, PAX Unplugged, they remembered me, which I thought was cool. And, uh, yeah, he requested a Chippy the Owlbear mini. So I was like, you got it. <laughs> <clears throat> so, yeah, I did paste, post that recently on uh, Twitter, my creation of uh, Chippy. That came out pretty good. Yeah, I thought that was nice. When I saw uh, Kate Welch, I told her that Patreon is doing pretty good, and partial credit goes to her and Miss Falcone for recommending that I start one. So initially, when they told me to do that, I was like, oh, no. I don't know, but they were right. <laughs> so yeah, this Patreon's doing pretty good right now. I'm pretty happy with how it's been going. It's been just all in all really supportive, very, very uh, creative, and all in all just really awesome community. <laughs> His collarbone's actually covered by his weird hair.
So yeah, <clears throat> it was really nice to meet them again. And uh, the request that they had for me this year was, uh, was a lot of fun, fun to put together. So let me see if I can remember what the requests were. But let's see. So uh, Ryan Hartman, he requested uh, Cronar on Cronar, Cronar the uh, the reindeer, and I printed that. They came out pretty good. <clears throat> no wait, Cronar on Clark Clarkmore. That's what he requested. And that came out pretty good. And then uh, Amy Falcone, she requested. What did she request? She requested, oh yes, uh, Pat Roethlis's character, <laughs> uh, Drebus Bee Stinger. I thought that came out pretty good. Um, let's see. Uh, Kate Welch. She requested. What did she request? Oh yes, yeah, she requested Bleth the Owl Bear. So that was pretty funny. Uh, Jerry, the DM. He requested Lagodi, the familiar of uh, Chris Straub. So far, so good. Chris Straub requested Ligoti as well. I thought that was kind of funny. They both requested the same thing. But whatever. I made it happen. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Pat Rothless didn't have anything to request, but he gave me like a shit ton of. <laughs> business cards and it's just like oh contact this person contact this person that's pretty funny I'm still waiting on their responses but they are rather busy so I'm not going to be offended by not hearing back from them This is a pretty awesome dude. Also, his charity is really amazing. If you guys haven't heard of World Builders, you should definitely check it out. I try to donate every once in a while. They do really amazing work. Uh, but yeah. So good. So good. Let's go ahead and get rid of this hat. Don't need you. Okay. <clears throat>
Okay. <clears throat> so far, so good. So, um... Like I mentioned earlier, um, it's kind of redundant to model fresh wings for this guy when I've already made so many fiends that have the same wings. So I'm going to save this guy right here. And I'm going to go to my um, succubus model and I'm just going to grab her wings since it just makes sense. Succubus, succubus 2. My lovely lady. Alrighty. Let's grab some wings, shall we? separate from the model. Oh, well, shit. Looks like I, um, <laughs> guess I was thinking ahead of time, huh? That's fine. <clears throat> now, I'm not going to use this exact positioning, though. I want this wing to be a little more higher up, so I'm actually going to delete one half of it and then do the same for the other. Let's go ahead and do that. Might as well get rid of this whole base. It's kind of redundant. Okay. Faces. folded wings. So given the position of the wings, my recommendation is when you print this to actually print it on its back. Um, on its back like this. I mean, yeah, the base will be way up in the air, but it'll be a little bit easier. Although actually another option would be to just print it on its back like this too, because it is flat enough should be able to pull it off. <clears throat> so that's my recommendation when you get to that point. And actually, to make life a little easier for you, I'll go ahead and angle this tail in that direction too. Just get rid of this geometry now. 
It was kind of funny, uh, I think it's kind of funny, but the creature, this Abishai beast, their faces look a lot like the monsters from Hellboy. <laughs> I think that's kind of cool. Those weird demonic things with the tentacles all over their faces. I love Hellboy. I'm looking forward to the new one when it comes out. It should be fun. sword and he's got claws on his hands. So let's go ahead and take care of that right now. Okay. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy for the claws. You know, it's gonna be really small, so so much detail that I can pull off. <clears throat> My cat just saw another bird. you on the balcony because then you'll jump and die to your and fall to your deaths and then now as soon as you see a bird you're gonna be like bird you're gonna jump and fall a whole 17 stories so we're not gonna deal with that drama okay cat <laughs> all right now 
me just get uh, this regular. Let's get some regular uh, hand. Uh, I'm gonna cheat. I'm just gonna get a left hand holding something. Mini file. Just connect it. out there you're probably like why should you just rig a hand it's like because i don't got time <laughs> there's a lot of things i want to do today i'm not gonna waste our time as i rig an entire hand just to make a fist when i could just cut off this hand and just put it on the fist already Just a sword to grab. Let me just do over here too. Well, first off, let me just make sure I save that again. Okay. Let me go to Tomb of Annihilation, Dragon Bait, and let me just grab this sword. It's, it's a really good sword. I guess while I'm at it, I could add just a little bit of dynamism to this uh, pose. So I'm gonna just add a little variance by changing the position of the leg just a little bit. It's, cause it's kinda just in a static pose. I think it's only fair to give it a little bit of variance.
this all down. Yeah, kitty, I know. I know, kitty. Actually, it looks like I might have messed up a little bit on the angle. Anyway, all right, so I'm pretty satisfied with the body so far. Um, definitely want to print this on its back for sure. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Next is the head. So we're kind of halfway there. But um, I need to use the restroom real fast, so I will. I'll be right back. Let me just put in a way message.
Alrighty, I am back. <clears throat> so, let's go ahead and make this guy's head now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a base mesh. Um, base uh, organic mesh. I really need to remain her name this time. Here we go. So, Alt J, get rid of that. So, this is my. Um, base uh, spear that I use for 3D modeling, pretty much anything organic. So if I had this thing and then I like brought in the second one, now I can make a quadruped, etc, etc. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and make this guy's head real fast. So. Kitty, I know the birds. You want to, you just want to eat them all. <laughs> My cat's really being very, very meowy right now. I don't know why. details. So, get rid of that. Okay, so, <clears throat> first things first, let's get the base bases, the faces down, base mesh down. So this guy has really, really Exaggerated, like chin design. So go ahead and do that real fast, and then let's go ahead and design the mouth. I'm gonna do an open mouth. Maybe I should do closed mouth. I don't know. Nah, I'll do open mouth because this thing should be printed on its back anyway, so. Let's go ahead and add some geometry for the mouth. I'm gonna basically do geometry like if it was closed, and then I'm gonna force the mouth open and then get back in there. So, go ahead and do that. Okay. And then I need to make the base geometry for the eyes. To do that, I'm just gonna do some good old fashioned extrusion work. So, let's go ahead and. That, that. Big eyes.
let's go ahead and start making some details. Thank you. 
Okay, so far so good. <clears throat> fun part is going to be making all these tentacles. That's going to be interesting. So we'll see what happens when I get there. <laughs> but, yeah. We will worry about that when we get to that point. For now, let me angle this mouth a little bit.
so far so good. Let's go ahead and connect uh, the head, and then we'll work on the uh, details of the tentacles. Hello there, ghost of Christmas future. So, let's go ahead and uh, start working on this thing. Oh wait, hold on guys. I have a new patron. Let me just go ahead and send them the introductory email. This will only take a moment. on this guy. head to this body. This is not going to be an easy print. Just realized that. Uh, support game needs to be really solid if you're going to print this correctly. So just keep that in mind when you print this guy.
Okay, let's go ahead and make some hair for this dude. A lot of hair. A lot. is to just make the individual strands out of this area right here and then just do some extrusion work and then that's it. It's not too complicated, but it will be time consuming. experiment with uh, by doing it over here first so thick 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 and then up up it goes I guess first I'm going to try randomization, just to see what happens. That shouldn't be selected. <clears throat> Alright, let's try randomize. too bad, but not exactly what I was looking for. Okay. The other option that I can do is just selecting random strands and seeing what happens. today uh, we are making a uh, white Abishai from the book Mordenkaiden's Tomb of Foes. It is a fiend 
that has some draconic origin to it. So it's very, very bad. But pretty cool to model. So good.
it. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied with this guy. I think he's coming out pretty good. Let me do some final details and then I think it's safe to say this guy is gonna be done. Just put some of this little dude right here. Sweet. Ta-da! There he is, the white abashi. I'm pretty satisfied. It's not gonna be an easy print, I can tell you that much. <laughs> um, I would recommend printing this guy on his back. Um, unless you have a resin printer, then fuck it. Just go to town. Actually, before I go, if you do do this in resin, I think it probably would be just slightly easier if I were to curve these fingers up. Let me just do that real fast. Small change. Not a huge change, this is a small. But for FDM, I recommend just putting it on its back. Just like that. Uh, okay. There you go. I'm pretty satisfied. Alright, it's file, save. File, export, STL. White Abashi.stl. I'm shy. I'm pretty happy. I am pretty happy. Happy, happy, happy. Nice. <laughs> Okay, alright guys, so there is my white abashi, um, I'm pretty happy with how it came out, um, yeah, yeah, I like it, pretty good looking dude, um, so, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with how it came out, I'm gonna go ahead and post the file online, and then we'll go from there. Actually, wait a minute, I just realized something. Small detail. His, uh, frill should be a little more out there. Really small detail. Let me just... It's gonna bug me if I don't do this. If anybody does art regularly, you know what I'm talking about. It's like, wait, if I just... If I just fix this one thing. Just fix this one little detail. One small detail. Then I'll be done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sorry. You guys know what's up. You see a small thing, you're just like, oh, wait, uh, let me just, uh, uh, real fast, just let me just fix this one thing.
satisfied. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Just like, saw detail. I was like, ah, I need to fix it. I gotta fix that. I gotta fix it. So. But I think we're good now. So, this was a fun model, um, thanks to the patron who requested this. Uh, I just realized I didn't put a tongue. Everybody wants to throw that detail in there. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this came out. So, you guys know the deal. I'm going to go ahead and post this on the internet, the interwebs, soon. <laughs> And, uh, you know, just go from there. Uh, so, this was a fun model. So, yeah. There you go. Anyway, so I'm gonna go and, uh, I guess I'm gonna grab a bite, eat some food, and then, uh, I'm gonna go ahead. <laughs> Jazz Goblin. <laughs> well, we'll get there eventually. <gasps> but, uh, yeah. I'm pretty happy with how this came out. So, uh, like I said, um, I'm going to go ahead and grab a bite real fast. Uh, then I'm going to go into a personal project. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do some painting because the other half of this effort of mine is to, you know, get some other personal projects on. So, uh, I think, I think um, later in the afternoon, I'll go ahead and get to the next uh, patron request. <clears throat> so, yeah, it should be fine. So before I go, um, is there, um, I obviously need, I need to post a file. I still need to, uh, make sure that the, uh, the model actually can be printed. Um, so I gotta prep some of stuff, some other stuff. Um, so while I do this, um, which is obviously gonna take me, um, probably a couple of minutes, um, but anyway, while I'm working on finalizing this model, does anybody have any questions for me? It could be anything. Anything D&D related or 3D modeling related, 3D printing related. Um, I'm an open book, so I'm going to answer any questions you guys got. Uh, but yeah, we. Questions, just send them my way. Uh, so let me go ahead and post this guy. So as I stated before, because uh, this model is Wizards of the Coast intellectual property, um, I cannot sell this, and it cannot be used for any uh, commercial purposes. So it will only be posted online for free to share purposes and for fan art purposes and that's it so you'll grab the file for free and you can do whatever you want but you cannot sell it because that would be a dick move oh i have a question no questions yet but thanks for all the models and work you do as a hobby hey i can sing i can't draw oh well Meh. Oh, here's a question. Um, do you have an actual art background, or was it just natural progression? Uh, I do. I did get my bachelor's in 
the fine arts about 10 years ago, which was focused on 3D art. That's where I learned how to do 3D. And then I just picked it up again about four years ago as a hobby, and it's been pretty much going on ever since. I uh, got another question that says here, are you starting any completely fresh models or starting from pieces you use on others? I mean, it depends. Um, like, this Abashi was just was um, pretty much a fresh model. I mean, I used the base humanoid to start it off, but then I just went from there. Um, my owl bears, those recently, those were just fresh pieces that I just created from scratch. Um, but, you know, I've made over 1,500 creatures. It would be very stupid of me to not reuse geometry from other things to save time. And, uh, yeah. Oh, no, the wings, the wings, definitely. I ripped off of my uh, succubus model, so, yeah. yeah. And the sword, the sword I got from another model, too, so. Yeah, it's a good way to save time, and, you know, that's just how I roll. But yeah, I will cut off pieces from other models if I have to, because, you know, it saves time. That's a unwritten rule in 3D modeling, is if you can cut corners and it looks good, there you go. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, so the Abashi model, like, started off with a humanoid, but then I, I took a sword and I took some wings. Um, not really. Uh, in my basics folder, in my share drive, um, there are some basic files, and they're like swords, hands, things like that. But wings? Wings don't happen as often. Um, so I usually just r try to remember where was the last place I put a good set of wings, and I just grab them. <clears throat> so, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so there you go. Free for download, choose image, white tabashi, abashai, whatever. Okay, display in public, not for sale, save changes. Um, do you just grab them and copy? Yeah. For lunch, honestly, I'm not feeling like lunch, lunch, like, you know, sandwiches or burgers or whatever. I, I'm still feeling kind of breakfasty, so I think I'm just going to make some eggs and some toast. You know, just go from there. Someone say lunch? Hi. Hey. How you doing, babe? Doing great. Let's see what we got. Sure. <clears throat> My boo wants to make me lunch, so we'll see what she comes up with. Anyway. Yeah, I wish I could do that too. I tried figuring that out a while ago, and it just never worked. Um, if anybody knows any tricks to OBS and how to set that up, please let me know, because I do not know. Anyway, alrighty. Anyway, um, okay, I think this is it. Uh, the file is now online. Anybody can download it and... Uh, print it themselves i'm gonna post this on my patreon page and i'm also gonna post this on twitter um i'm mz4250 on both of those things and yeah the files there and go crazy hope it comes out good and obviously give me some feedback if you're having issues with it or something's wrong with it or something like that okay guys this was fun i will see you around um, and, uh, hey, you're welcome, guy. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna sign off for now. I'll be back later in the afternoon. Um, I don't know. I figure, like, around 2 o'clock-ish. We'll see. We'll see. But, uh, I'll go post this file online, and I'll see you guys very soon.